and welcome to Present Times on Linux. Uh, today we're going to have a quick look at Void Linux. Um, Void Linux is an independent distro. Um, and I will uh, see if I can think up. Today I'm just using open boxes up front end rather than my usual Trinity. As you can see, sudo reboot is live there. Very cool. But you can get to Void Linux through voidlinux.org. It tells you about their stuff and whatever. Uh, I downloaded the Cinnamon version. So, it's the Cinnamon one we will have a look at. Um, I also have a, a package management called XBPS. Or XBS. Uh, XBS. Um, it's very much like the Arch uh, Pac-Man Manager. So we'll go to see if we can install this. I know a few people have already reviewed this about issues, but I'm going to see what I can do about that. So anyway, let's start it off. Anyway, while this is booting, I will tell you that I go to VM uh, 12 meg of hard disk space, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 megabytes of video uh, and of course the um, ISO oh and two cores on my CPU two out the well two out the two logical cores or four logical cores I should say and two CPUs so we will just make this And what I'll try and do actually is have a scope mode so we can make this a bit bigger. So bear with me just a bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're running software rendering mode. Okay, to install void, you have to use the void installer, which is a terminal based installer. So We'll start this off, and it's saying it must be on its route, so I'm gonna have to type it 18 full. Okay, welcome to the void installer, and it's basically a NCURSIS based installer. Okay, it's going to ask me to set up a keyboard, and I'm gonna have to scroll all the way down to United Kingdom, somewhere down here. I went down too far, UK, that'll do me. I'll set up the network. And it says it's working properly. Source installation will be local. I will be installing from the ISO image. It took me a long time to download the ISO image from their site. Uh, just give this local host. Give it local host, local domain. Oops. <coughs> we will set up the local. It is scanning locals. And does it have oh, English Great Britain? We will set up to time zone. I press E for Europe because I'm in Europe and just go down to London. And we need to set the root password. And again, we'll do a user account. I'll just use my name here and the password for set account. Okay, it's asking me what groups I want to join in. Um, I'll just leave that as is actually. Alright, it sent me to bootloader to install. I will want it on SDA, correct? Uh, use, yep, okay. Now we do the partition disk. SDA. Now this is important because I come a cropper earlier on. This is my second or third time. And uh, what you have to do is when you have to be creative with at least a boot flag. And I feel I've, yeah. For AFI systems, GPT is mandatory. For boy systems, MBR or B. If you're using GPT though, you must have an empty partition of one megabyte. Must be added to the first gigabyte of this and toggle by scrub enabled. Uh, no, you don't need this, but I'm just going to make it as a dust partition. 
and I will go new and I will give it a full, full 12 gig primary ok I need to make it bootable on the flag and I will write it to disk uh, are you sure you want to write a partition to disk? I do have to write in the word yes and it is done ok so we can now quit out of that we will configure main points we need to change I'll make it ext4 and it will be the root partition <coughs> and then we can install and it's telling me that the following operations will be executed new file system on SDA1 mounted as root on ext4 all details data on all partitions will be completely destroyed Woo, for new file systems are you sure you want to continue yes I do ok it's starting to do the uh, copying over it says check dev tty8 in virtual box you can check this by holding the right control button and the FA key and as you can see you can see all the um, files being transferred there I won't actually pause the video or anything this time because the install is actually quite quick and as you can see it's scrolling quite nicely so we'll let this scroll this isn't going to take that long it's already on the icons <laughs> as you can see It doesn't come with a lot, it's a really small download actually. Um, I forget exactly how big the void line XISO is. Uh, while it's doing that though, we can um, have a look. So we got Alpine, Arco. Uh, I should really sort this out, don't you think? Um, let's see if we can sort by file type. And we can scroll down. As you can see, I have a, a few here. Um, that one there is 727 megabytes. So under 800 megabytes in size. So we're already on to Python and so on and Ruby. The Ruby Libros and Python 3.6. So we know there's a fair bit getting installed here in such a small distro and once it is done we will reboot after it's uh, installed the kernel as you can see will be for 18.17 which is fairly up to date kernel although we're on 4.19.2 I believe now, although there's 4.20 coming out fairly soon I should imagine uh, within the next few months, three, four months, I think. I'll have to check on that. But I know Linus is already working at the 420. <coughs> so, and you can probably hear my fan starting to kick in as it's doing all this. Okay. Let's see if we go build it in it from a fast name. Okay, and now it's building the uh, low cows for libc and it is installing for i386 and it's, it looks like it's actually found everything so i will now go back to right click control s7 to take me back and it says it's been do i want to reboot the system now yes i do and we'll see if i need to 
detach. Yes, I do. So I'm just going to do this first I just found. Okay, it did install properly. And I am met by a blank screen. Okay, let's see if we can go to F1. Oh no, it absolutely killed the VM. Ha <laughs> ha, wow. Oh, I just crashed the whole VM. Oh no, I didn't. Did I just, oh, let me try that again. Oh, I'm actually changing my thing though. Okay. Um, I do need to change uh, Control L, I believe, scaled. No. Oh, there's me F1. I am going to log in as root, and I believe it's using LX DM and gone PS AUX. <coughs> Let's see what we're using here. Yeah. LXDM session. So it looks like it's using LXDM for a display manager. So we'll see if we can um, remove that. Uh, uh, LXD. I mean, I could use the. Uh, Okay, let me uh, try F7. No. Nope. And I can't hold backspace either, so back there again. There has to be a way. Uh, okay. I am looking now to see what else I can kill. Because I just love, just love it when things work to plan. Um. Oh, there is no, that's strange. Okay. That is something I'm gonna miss here. It's HTOP running. No HTOP now. So it's XPS Still, I believe. It's uh, HTOP. No. Oh boy, I'm not having much fun. See, I'm trying to use the arrow keys and I'm getting strange characters. And I'm getting no auto complete. Hang on, let me exit out that. Okay, sudo xp. There's no auto complete. Why is there no auto complete? No. Oh, I have forgotten the commands. Okay. Okay, let's see that helps me out in it. And it doesn't. Well, there's fun. Okay, let's force a reboot. Actually, I'm going to see if I can do an ACPI switch down. I can. And I will remove the uh, live image. There we go. Okay, it started back up again. Uh, 
and we're still having problems. Looks like I am not going to get into a graphical view. Which is a shame. Oops. Oh, really? Can't do that. There we go. Uh, Why well it says MC is from defunct. I'm just seeing what else is being used. Okay, I'm going to be nasty because this is driving me nuts now. Just concentrating a bit there, make sure I've got the right one. No, okay, so this is going to be a very quick overview indeed, isn't it? Okay, let me hold that. And what I'll have to do is just do it through the thing. I got it installed. But well, she just doesn't want to run for whatever reason. So what I'll do is I'll reattach the ISO and we'll beat up that just to show you what was in it. Which is based on the cinema of course. And I'll try and fix whatever the problem was. Let's see if it gives me a decent screen size once it's booted. Because this is taking a hell of a lot longer than it should have been. And it's still loading according to this, so... We have a mouse pointer and... Well, the drivers were there for... So I'm not quite understanding why, why it would not load. Okay, so we've got no wallpaper, but we do have a right click, and we can open its root and so on, and we can change the desktop backgrounds. So let's see if we can find some wallpapers or whatever. Okay, we have some nice wallpapers here, I don't know why none of those are. Road? That's not bad, is it? Sunstone? Well, we're quite nice. Wood? Like a wood deck in background. Dark ivory? Very nice. Sea sunset? Very cool and very bright. Icecape? Brrr! Okay, that seems like some nice wallpapers here. Alright, anyway, I'll just go take it back to the road. I'll quite like seeing you quite just see. 
Alright. That'll do. Let's see what's in the old menu then. And why I can't do the things I want to. So we've got Firefox. We know this. New anyway, accessories. We've got Nemo and a virtual keyboard. Which you've got on screen keyboard of course. In Net we have just got Firefox and the Firefox version which I'll find out. Looks like a five a five O series. So that's a block on the question mark a bit. And it is SDSR fifty two point nine. Okay, this is a bit way back, am I sure? Yeah, absolutely am. Oh okay. You want to close it all at the same time. Administration. What's in the Oh, that was all. Administration. We have a terminal, which is just a, which is the num terminal, and uh, three point three zero point two. And if I do name R, it should come up four point one seven. It does for eighteen point one seven rather. Underscore one. So the kernel's quite recent. Um, I am going to have to see what the command I thought was XBS. I could be absolutely wrong. We have extensions uh, under administration. We have users and groups. In preferences, we got the accessibility, account details, applets. Let's have a look at the applets. And oh, we have uh, applets for keyboard manager scale okay that's quite cool there is no we have Nemo for our text editor at least I think Nemo is text editing oh no Nemo is the file manager Ooh, apologies of course it is Nemo 4.0.0 looks like it's using the add waiter um, icons we are on cinnamon after all <coughs> now I should have realized it would have been Nemo let's see what the system info has to say okay yep someone version 3.8.8 .8. and uh, as you can see hard drive is 2.7 gig left uh, I could upload that if I wanted to, which I don't. And that takes us back to system settings where you can set all your mouse, keyboard, graphic tablets, all that kind of thing, your hot corners. So it's pretty nice to know one thing. Anyway, I am going to have a quick look here. <coughs> I want to get Firefox up in this, just let me have a look at mine. Avoid. Uh, Linux.org I do believe and it is I want to go to the wiki and I want to look at the XP PP oh BPS oh I missed one okay and this tells you how to do all the installing it is very much similar to yeah XP BPS, which is why. So okay. And we also have packages where we can, I assume, we can find binary packages. Um, let's see. Uh, so if we lock in under Google there. We've got Googler, Cloud. Okay, now is there any OBS or anything? We've got OBS. Well, it looks like we may have actually. Now, can that avoid that? So, I wonder if uh, OBPS. Um, sorry, what was it? There we go, I'm actually like an EGIS again. XBPS. So, 
xbps install as oh yeah exposing oops Uh, unable to load. Uh, it's run, I think. Let's have a look. I don't see any kind of update. Okay, forget about sudo. Wow. Oh, there we go. We can install indeed. It seems I fix things with the server because they're a lot faster now than it used to be. Yep, OBS is in the repo. Okay, cool. So that's how you install on Void Linux. Linux. And I'm just going through this. Let's see where it's put it in the... That's my new category there and OBS. We'll launch it. Which is very cool. Let's see if we can make a quicker, if that's what you studio mode. Let's split it, add a scene. We'll just add a scene for the uh, screen capture. There, that's so, okay, that's working. OBS seems to be working well, although it isn't picking up my microphone or desktop because uh, I haven't got it set up to do that, but OBS seems to be working quite fine. Um, so, yeah. It's quite nifty. Once you get used to it, it can be quite good. This is my very first look at it, a sort of installing it. But I want to know why it wasn't installed properly on my hard drive. And yes, I know I'm in a virtual machine, and obviously it knows I'm in a virtual machine because it has the uh, extensions built in, the guest editions. So I'm just wondering why. It has been such a pain. I do not know. Let's see if it can resource properly. And it does. So the guest editions are definitely installed. Anyway. That's my quick look at Void. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, thank you for watching. Sorry I can't be more productive with it. To be honest. At right now. But yeah. It's just. Add anything you want to distro basically. And this was based on the Cinnamon desktop. Ooh, I did overlook one thing, didn't I? Um, uh, X. PS. Install. H top. I just want to see what it's feeding off. 787 megabytes which aren't too bad for us cinnamon I guess that's not too bad at all anyway uh, really not much I can say much more about it it runs off the init run run it in its system rather than system do but I did see some system do stuff earlier maybe there's a shim there for stuff and the XDM so anyway Thank you for watching. Close terminal. And I uh, hope to see you all soon. I do apologise for being just a short one, but.
Now what's to say about it? Uh, the install is quite weird and for whatever reason LXDM did not want to restart itself so anyway leave you all to it take care and goodbye